Hello, Andy Reynolds, livemusicbusiness.com, and in today's session, you are going to learn how to use a spreadsheet program to create a show settlement sheet. The show settlement sheet is a report produced by the promoter at the end of the evening and is given to the band's representative, usually the tour manager. It shows the total ticket sold for the show, how much money was made from the sale of those tickets, whether the band broke percentage or not, and how much money the promoter is due to pay to the band at the end of the show. The screen shows an example show settlement sheet, show report, and this was made in Excel, but you can use any spreadsheet program, Google Sheets for instance. Uh, basically all we're doing is filling in the rows and columns as you do in any spreadsheet program. This one in particular is our show settlement and shows the capacity of the venue, how many tickets were sold and at what price to give us a total income. Then it shows any costs that the promoter has and how much money is then due to be paid to the band at the end of the night or the end of the day. That's what we're trying to do. So to create your show settlement sheet, first of all you need to fire up a blank sheet in the spreadsheet program of choice and if you are using Excel or Google Sheets obviously your screen might not look the same as mine but don't worry as I said we're only using the rows and columns. And for the purposes of this session, we don't need that many columns, so I'm just going to zoom in for you a bit, so it makes it a bit easier to read. So we're going to create this show report, show settlement, and we're going to give it to someone, we're going to give it to the artist. So we want to make it look good, and we want it to include information that is useful to them. So first of all, I'm just going to put some text fields in, which I can then fill in the actual specific information for the show when we actually do the show. So the text information that I'm going to put in is to do with who's playing, where they're playing, on the date they played. So someone's got a record of it after the show. That's some basic information. For the terms, I'm going to move along this row and I'm going to leave gaps because we're going to put information in that is specific to the show. But for the moment, we're creating this kind of template so that I'm going to put in various uh, bits of information which we can then adapt. So our terms refers to the terms in the contract, what the guarantee is, what the percentage split is, what other things the promoter is agreeing to provide as per the contract. So I've written in terms, then I'm going to leave a gap. Then we're going to create a versus deal sheet. So I will put verse in there and then I'm going to leave a gap. Then I'm going to put a percentage sign in. Then I'm going to write after, then leave a gap, and then write costs. Now what I've done there is left spaces where I can subsequently fill in information. So this cell here will be the amount of the guarantee, $100, $5,000 for instance, versus a percentage amount on the split. Remember this all comes from the contract that the promoter issues via the booking agent to the band. So we'll leave that for the moment and let's carry on. So I've filled in some more information um, about the ticket, the price, the number sold and the total. And under the ticket column I might put in information about the types of tickets. So for instance I might put in that uh, we have advanced tickets and we have tickets available on the door. Now at this point we're going to apply some formatting to the cells to save us time. So for instance with column B where I've got price, when I actually use this spreadsheet to create a report for a band, I will have to type in the ticket price, the advanced ticket prices. So say $10 and $12. Now as you can see I've typed in two different formats because my cells are not set up to replicate a similar formatting every time. So if I get rid of those for a second and we're going to apply some formatting which will save us time and keep the look consistent. 
So I'm going to select a cell, then I'm going to right click to open up my uh, dialog, scroll down to format cells, make sure I'm in the first tab number, go to currency, then select my currency symbol, click on that, press OK. Now every figure I type into here will automatically have the currency symbol in front of it. And again, I can do the same with this one. Which saves us some time. I might want to also apply that formatting to this cell here because that's where I'm going to enter my guarantee and I want it in currency. So that would be formatted correctly. What we need to do now is to use the spreadsheet program to put formulas into cells which will calculate various things that we ask it to do. So for instance, with our ticket price, I want to know that a certain amount of tickets sold at a certain price will give us a total and we can use the spreadsheet to do that. So we're going to create a formula. So I've selected the cell and the first thing to do is press equal sign which helps us to create the formula. I'm then going to type sum and as you can see Excel auto fills that so I can just double click on that to select it and it creates an open bracket and basically what I'm going to do inside the open bracket and the close bracket is designate which numbers I want multiplying or taking away from each other or adding together and so on and so forth. So in this case I want to multiply this cell whatever goes in there. So I select it then I put the asterisk in which is the multiply then I want that multiplying by this cell and then I close the brackets and at the moment the cell says zero and if you look in the formula bar above it shows the formula that the sum or total of B9 times C9 will be displayed in D9. So for instance, if I'm D9, the total is 1000. If we sold 500 of them, it auto calculates as you can see. So we have that formula in there now and let's just get rid of these for the moment. We can also copy and paste the formula in that cell into other cells and Excel will, will calculate relatively to that calculation. Let me explain. So if I copy in that, I'm just copying the formula. So I copy this, what's in the cell. Now, as you can see, this cell here has the same formula but it's relative to the row it's on. This cell is in row 9, this cell is in row 10 so this will take this cell here and times it by this cell here. So that's one of the good things you can do with a spreadsheet program just copy and paste your formulas. And likewise I want to create a formula in this cell here which is going to add up everything in, the, in this column. We might have multiple ticket sale outlets and we'd want to enter the, all, all of them into this information part here and then we need to add it all up. So again I'm going to start a formula by pressing equals, type sum, select the first cell in the column, type a colon, type in the cell or click on it to select it and now that will give me the total there so if I type in ten dollars and we sold 100 tickets that's a thousand and we also had some for sale on the door at fifteen dollars and I sold five of those we sold 75 on the door so our total sales is one thousand dollars plus seventy five dollars as you can see one thousand and seventy five I've now filled in some other information which is going to help us to calculate the report. My next line is the guarantee 
and I could write the guarantee every time in there but I'm going to need the guarantee in various other formulas and cells so remember that I left a space for it in row 4 where it said terms this cell here is my, going to be my guarantee which I can fill in at the beginning of the sheet so in terms of indicating what that guarantee was going to be I want to echo that B4 cell so I click on the cell where I also want that figure to appear just press equals and then click the cell you want it to equal so now if I type something into B4 this is indicating what the terms are my guarantee so I'm offering the promoter was offering a thousand dollars as a guarantee and notice that B14 now picks that up that saves me only having to type the guarantee in once my costs from the contract again I'm going to echo a cell that I'm already using in this case I'm using this cell here G4 create a formula click on the cell I want to echo and so anything I type in here for the costs from the contract say the costs of $500 and as you can see that's echoed there finally I want to give the profit which is the total ticket sold minus any costs that the promoter has incurred so we're just going to create a simple formula in there which will give us the profit when these figures are filled in so our sheet so far is going to give a straightforward reporting of how many tickets were sold will show us what the costs are from the contract and will show us if there is a profit so our total tickets minus our costs but what we want to do is calculate for the band whether they are due any extra money and if we go back to our row B4 we know the terms of our deal will probably be a guarantee versus a percentage of the ticket sales after costs so an example would be say a $1,000 guarantee versus 80% of the profits after a certain amount of costs. So we need to add in some more calculations, some more lines that are going to do that for us. So we're going to scroll down slightly now. I'm going to type in multiply by percentage. Now it's usually 80% would be the the versus deal but it may be 50% it may be 40% it may be 75% so as we have had cells that we can echo in our calculations elsewhere we're going to do the same with with the percentage amount so at the top here I stipulated this cell was going to be for whatever purpose we want it for the percentage amount so it makes sense to then echo this cell So at the moment it's 80% in there, so that is echoed 80% there. If I change this to 60%, our cell there changes to 60%. Let's put it back at 80, because that is the contract terms, $1,000 versus 80% after costs. And so to show the amount, if any, extra owing to the band we're going to put one more line in down here and what we want to do in this cell is then create a formula which is going to show us what if anything is owing to the band above and beyond the guarantee the deal is a versus deal it's the guarantee versus 80 percent so in this cell here we want a formula that says that this profit should be times by this percentage whatever that percentage may be in this case it's 80 percent and we'll put in the percentage sign so it says to take 80 percent of that and then if we fill in some example numbers you'll see how this is calculated so let's say that our terms is one thousand dollars versus 80 percent after two thousand dollars costs the ticket price was £10 and we sold 500 
So the total ticket revenue was $5,000. The costs are $2,000. So that gives us a profit of $3,000. 80% of $3,000 is $2,400. So that's what we'd pay to the band. That is more than the guarantee. So remember, it's a versus deal. It's $1,000 or 80%. And in this case, 80% is $2,400. So that's what we pay to the band. If, unfortunately, we'd sold less tickets, say we'd only sold 100 tickets, our total ticket sales is therefore $1,000. Our costs are still the same, $2,000. So we have minus $1,000 in profit. Now, obviously, then this row here is wrong. We can't pay the band minus $800. We owe them the guarantee as per the contract. We have to pay them $1,000. This formula does not take into account if the show loses money. And in the second video, you'll be able to see how to create that formula so it does show either the versus 80% amount or it'll show the guarantee if that's what we're paying the band. Remember this line is to give payment to the band. So in this case it says minus 800, that is incorrect. In this case there is no profit so we would pay them the guarantee. If we sell more tickets and make profit then we pay them that figure. That is how to use a spreadsheet program to create a show settlement report. You can download a template from livemusicbusiness.com.